Alrighty, so I logged out in this house right before it got dark. And when I logged back in, a horde showed up. I assumed it was just a wandering horde. And then another horde came with cops and dogs and all that fun stuff. So I've been hiding up in the attic all night while they've been devastating this building. I finally became undetected, but I assume there's still tons around. I am spotted by something. And there's a dog over there too. Oh uh, yeah, here we go. Let's see, can I get up here? Yes, I can. Oh yeah, I heard a cop. I see a cop. How you doing, guy? Oh. Ugh. Getting terrible frames. There's so many of them around here. There we go. Let's see, it's just old normal fat zombie. Oops. Come on, work with me, freaking lag. Ugh. I swear. Just too many of them lagging me to death. There. If I can get the dogs, it'll be all good. There's one. What else we got around here? Yeah, I figured they'd bring the whole building down. Yeah. See, all I can really do is get down, run a good bit. Ugh, coppers. You like him up. They are pretty nasty and deadly. There we go. Go away. I'm trying to shoot cops, woman. Any other cops around here? Should have dropped some hay bales. Of course, I didn't have any readily made. Let's see if I can block this off. Uh, there. Freaking, freaking wood instead of what I want to be hitting. Now, how in the world am I shooting that wood? Ah. Very friendly. Terrible, terrible leg. Oh, 
At least if I can make him blow up, it'll be all good. Sure wish I had some pipe bombs right about now. How did I miss that dog? Really need to work on their hitbox on these things. And there's another cup. There we go. Must not be able to hit that guy. Another dog. Get the dogs out of the way. I should be okay. Well, yeah, gotta make a run for it. Running away. Let's see how many come out. Here, any dogs? Back up, son. Well, got the hell out of there. That was a long night, that's for sure. Look at them all. <laughs> I think more's coming. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, the Wandering Horde found me, I think, initially, because I had some soup with me. So I dumped it in the chest real quick. Ah. Come on, I gotta work on my aim. I need to fix my gun, though. It's kind of wore out after all that shooting. Considering half the shots missed, anyway. There we go. All better. There's a bunch of them. Just clear these jokers out real quick. I don't know where he's going. snuck up on me. Alright, what else we 
I've got around here. Show is a lot of them. Don't you hit me, woman? I'll go crazy on you. I thought I heard a cop. I did. Knew I heard a cop. Get you, silly old cop. I'll take your loot, son. Anybody else feel lucky? think so. Jeez, what a freaking nightmare. Ah, let's see what's left around here. Oop. God, that's terrible aim. I definitely need a new mouse. It's just not responsive enough. I think I hear somebody in there. There's one right there. Who else is in here? Good grief, this place is messed up. I dare say this place has been annihilated and it didn't look all that good before now it's just totally screwed huh. they didn't get by my little couch though that's pretty good huh. even had this blocked off though they found a way up here well, sorry dogs <laughs> Ain't even much to loot now. I didn't wrecked it all. Ugh. Yeah, why can't I get up there? Uh, I got a wood frame. I just put that right there, and there we go. Still no bees showed up to guard these nests that I looted. Uh, got that. I don't need nails. I don't need that. So anyway, I think I will eat my soup and heal up a little bit and continue on the looting spree. And welcome back to Seven Days to Die. I had a feral horde spawn last night. Come and pretty much wreck the place. But they're gone now and I'm inspecting the damage. Knocked out a good bit of blocks. Even knocked out some dirt it looks like. Huh. Yeah, my support column is damaged. It was just tearing this place all apart. I have to do a little bit of uh, fixing. Repairing this place back so it doesn't fall down. <laughs> there we 
go. Get the old hammer back out. There. Good as new. Unfortunately, there's another building just like this one. In case I need to uh, steal some brick like that. I can take care of it real quick like I'm going to have to move I have all my stuff up on the roof and I'm going to have to move it somewhere else like on the ground a bit of ways because if this building ever came down I would lose all my stuff and that would be very very depressing there we go so anyway I'm going to patch this ba uh, back up and I'll pick up in a little bit. Alrighty, so I got the temporary base fixed and repaired and threw some spikes around it so it should last a little longer. Hmm. I've also made some game changes like I've set the zombie spawns to high. I've increased the difficulty to warrior from uh, the default, whatever it was. Nomad, I think it, I think it is. Uh, you can definitely notice the change in difficulty. <laughs> it's like this club will only kill in one hit on a crit, like that. Any other time, it takes two shots to the head to kill him. Hmm, that's a little old nurse. Hey nurse, what are you doing? That's right, just lay on down. Mm, a crawler. Come on, there you go. I don't need your loot. Anyway, can't get a moment's peace around here. Anyway, this is a little house I've been working on. I actually built this house in Minecraft one time and uh, tried to replicate it here as closely as possible. I think it came out pretty good, pretty good. Might have to add a few little additions to it yet. But. I would say it'd be a good little starter home, but cobblestone is pretty advanced because you need the forge book. Well, if you ever find the forge book early, then yeah, it'd be a pretty good little home to get working on. It takes quite a large amount of stone though. Alright, haven't really gotten any decor in here yet I just just made it not too long ago I'll put the mattress right there for the bed just a little loft here and I'm eventually going to dig out a basement nothing too big just a little basement I gotta fix this wall still it takes Tons and tons of cobblestone and frames. Hey, how you doing? Oh, get out of here, son. These things sure are irritating. Uh, let's see. I had to make a bunch more cobblestone because I actually ran out fairly quickly. Now all I need to do is just uh, lay more frames and get this wall up a little higher so they can't jump over it like that guy's trying to. Let's see. Hey. Look, you're causing problems. Get out of here. There we 
we go. All your problems have been resolved. <laughs> uh, yep, I like it. Alrighty, so we're back at the old temporary base that was ravaged by a feral horde. We've made it spider proof, repaired it a little bit, got me a, a bee proof hut. <laughs> bees can't get you in there got some trees growing got all my supplies speaking of supplies may as well grab a bite for a head out <clears throat> there we go got a little safety drop here got my spikes a going so it's defendable now even though it's got quite a bit of brick knocked out. Still should last for a little while. Got a little garden growing. Now it is time to do just a little bit of mining with some TNT. Because I need more cobblestone, so I need more rocks. And I had a little mine over here. <clears throat> All the mining I've done before, I've done by hand, pretty much. It was early game mining, but in this area, let's see, where was that mine at? I think it was down, there, down here. That was one of the places. I knocked out a little bit right there, but I had a different mine to go on. And a nice little vein of ore, too. Maybe it's over this rise somewhere. Better yet, I'll just cut back. I'll cut back in when I find it. Alright, here it is. I just passed it. Here we go. Nice little mine set up in here. A little dark. But... I've been clearing out a good bit of material. Mainly needed stone, so the ore's just been a bonus. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Yeah, this looks good right about here. This could cave in, so I have to be careful. only way to mine pretty much spending all my paper on these now instead of shotgun shells oh, I hear a little zombie must be upset making noise hey and the candle stayed <laughs> You don't want to set off more than one of these at a time because it will destroy some of the ore. And if another charge goes off next to this ore, it'll destroy it all completely, which is very terrible. And probably some spiders come to check the area out now. I have to take care of them real quick, like. Get up there, son. It's a matter for you. I see. Oh, it's a crawler. Go away. Another crawler. Spider Zambie. Could at least bring some paper if you're gonna bother me. I don't need a flashlight. Well, I would if I could put it on different things. We can't do that just yet. Alrighty. Back to mining. <laughs> I 
Yeah, so we'll put you right there. That's right, I got a flashlight on my helmet. I keep forgetting about that. I wouldn't waste, well it's not really waste, I wouldn't use TNT in this fashion if it wasn't just so painful to mine by hand. It is just so slow and you're constantly running out of stamina unless you drink coffee or beer. You're constantly having to repair your pick because it doesn't have any durability. I mean it has 500 but it just doesn't seem to last. <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh yeah. <laughs> it just never gets old. Especially iron. Iron is terribly slow to mine. Um, potassium nitrate and alum uh, aluminum. Uh, lead isn't bad at all. Matter of fact, I wouldn't mind mining by hand if they would reduce the time it takes for iron. And one right there. Yeah. <laughs> ah, so awesome. I'll never be able to go back to mining by hand again. Well, I mean, when I start a new map, I'll pretty much have to. But, you know, you cross that bridge and you come to it. Whoa, what the hell's going on? Yeah. Alright, well, that's probably enough. Enough mining for right now. Last I looked, this was getting like 20 minutes long. Look at that nice little cave right there. <laughs> uh, I have to uh, mark it with some light so I can remember it right there. Crawl away. Uh, I don't need either of that, really. Should be enough rocks for what I need, which I need more of that. Excellent. I doubt that'll finish up what I need, but it'll be a good little start. Well, not start. I've been working on it. Let's see where is it? Where is it? It is right there. This way. Just run over here real quick. I also changed the uh, length of the day. It seemed like I had on default, which is 40 minute days. I upped that to 60 just so I could squeeze out a little more daylight because time was just passing way too quickly. I just couldn't get any work done if it wasn't getting dark. You had to run back to the base and wait out the night. On the bright side though, it gave me a lot of time to catch up on YouTube videos. I know I've been watching Rongo the Bold and his Seven Days to Die videos. been entertaining. Let's see, should be right over here. Yeah, there it is. We have some high points on the walls where the land comes up, so I'll need it higher in a few areas than the rest. It's unfortunate you can't make cobblestone ramps other than in creative. I mean the wiki isn't up to date either because I tried the recipe but it didn't work. I 
to work on. I have to build something. I might just put stairs on this side and build. I don't know, maybe a pillar here with a bridge crossing over. I don't know, I think it's something. It won't be anything amazing, it'll just be functional. So that's what I'm going to be doing for a little while. Uh, getting the walls up there is feeling more secure. <laughs> uh, once I get these walls finished though, it might actually... Or I have to put a lip on it still because spider zombies can get in here. But I want the wall perimeter, perimeter to be secure. Oh, I'll change these out for these... Uh, wooden pillars. I think it looks better and I put some shutters on there. And once the perimeter is secure I can actually work on the house without having to constantly worry about being attacked all the time. Mm, get up there. There we go. And these windows they're, you know, it had glass in them. The glass really obstructs your view out, so I'll just hit them once with my fist and knock the glass out. So now I can see perfectly outside. Very nice. But anyway, I think this has been, there it is, been long enough, so I will just cut it off here. Get all that good stuff. I'll cut it off here, and I'll catch you on the next one.